Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Nelson for Catholic News Break. Here's what's going on this week in the news. And we begin from the Vatican. Pope Benedict XVI has said he will travel to the earthquake area in central Italy. Vatican spokesman Father Federico Lombardi said planning for a papal visit to the region was underway, but he said it would take place at least a week after Easter. Meanwhile, a funeral mass was held for victims of the quake on Good Friday. Cardinal Tarsicio Bertoni, Vatican Secretary of State, presided at the mass, and the Pope's personal secretary read a message from the Pope at the beginning of the mass. In the message, the Pope said that only in solidarity can such painful trials be overcome, and faith in God is the endless source of light and hope for these moments of pain and suffering. Italian authorities said nearly 300 people have been killed and more than 1,000 were injured. Some 28,000 people had been left homeless by the quake. Hundreds of mourners attended this open-air mass on the grounds of the military barracks near L'Aquila. Flags were at half-staff as Italy declared the day for national mourning. The Vatican had granted special permission for the funeral mass held on Good Friday. Given the extraordinary circumstances of the occasion, normally there is no Eucharistic celebration on Good Friday, and Holy Communion is instead distributed during the Liturgy of the Lord's Passion. In news now from around the world, about 1,800 Franciscan friars from all over the world are coming together in Assisi, Italy, to celebrate the 800th anniversary of papal approval of the Franciscan rule. This will be the first time representatives from the four main Franciscan branches will meet in Assisi to take part in an international chapter of Mats, April 15th through the 18th. Father Jose Rodriguez Carvalho, Minister General of the Order of Friars Mitre, said the chapter of Mats gets its name from the time in 1221 St. Francis called more than 3,000 friars to Assisi for a general meeting or chapter. Because the small town could not accommodate the large number of visitors, the friars lived in huts made out of reeds and they slept on mats. Along with the Order of Friars Minor, the three other Franciscan groups at the chapter will be the Capuchins, the Conventional Franciscans, and the Third Order Regular Franciscans. The chapter falls on the 800th anniversary, the formal founding of the Franciscan Order, when St. Francis presented his rule to Pope Innocent III for approval in 1209. In news now from around the country, Vermont legislators this past week voted, uh, voted to override the governor's veto of same-sex marriage legislation, making the state the fourth to allow same-sex marriage and the first to do so without a court order. The District of Columbia Council also voted this past week to recognize same-sex unions formalized in other states. Both votes came less than a week after the Iowa Supreme Court's unanimous decision to legalize gay marriage by striking down a state law defining marriage as a union of one man and one woman. The two houses of the Vermont legislature voted in early April on the same-sex marriage legislation. The votes were four short of the number needed to override a veto, and Governor Jim Douglas vetoed the measure. However, some legislators changed their votes to override the governor's veto in a 100-49 vote. During hearings about the same-sex marriage legislation called the Freedom to Marry Act, Bishop Salvatore Matano of Burlington defended the church's opposition to same-sex marriages, saying it has been the Catholic Church's consistent teaching that marriage is the union of man and woman. The Vermont law will allow same-sex marriages in the state beginning in September. And finally in the news, 33 women from the Diocese of Tulsa, Oklahoma, were consecrated as spiritual mothers of priests during a special Mass at Holy Family Cathedral recently, following a recommendation by the Vatican Congregation for Clergy. Father Mark Kirby, a Tulsa priest who directs a cenacle for priests in the diocese, said they are the first spiritual mothers to be consecrated in the United States. Bishop Edward J. Slattery of Tulsa told the women during the Mass that Mary is the model for those whom God has called to serve the church by living as spiritual mothers of priests. Each of the women was presented with a medal and a certificate signifying their dedication to a particular priest who was described to them but not named. The priests who expressed interest in having a spiritual mother do not know her identity either. The women were asked to spend time daily in adoration and intercessory prayer directed toward their adopted priest. And that is all the information we have for you this time. Please stay with Catholic TV for more Catholic news. Until then, I'm Kevin Nelson. I'll see you next time on Catholic News Break.